What's going on, you guys? Welcome back. I'm trying to go on a back to back day in terms of playing today. Actually, I was having a hard time deciding what uh, I wanted to focus on next, so, you know, maybe it's something not to really think too much about. And then I remembered uh, I've never actually streamed or featured one of my all time favorite games on any of my channels. I can put it on Instagram once just to, to announce the anniversary or whatnot, but like in terms of a full play through, I haven't done it yet. So I figure what, you know, what better time than now? Is that you like to focus on retro replay every so often? Why not do it today? But yeah, 1991's Streets of Rage. One of my all time favorite games. The memories I have, it's just so fun to this game. The sound. Characters. So every every uh, every song from every uh, stage is in my head. I used to get all hype over this when I was a kid. Bendy one, I was like ten years old. Bought the Sega Genesis specifically to play this game because I still remember the TV ads when they were like previewing all the all the games that came out on you know uh, the system in itself. But it was this one. It was this one that really caught my eye. And Sonic is great, obviously, yeah, but uh, this game in itself it just caught my attention. Shouldn't be too rusty. I play this game a lot, maybe two, three times a year. More. Every anniversary day for sure. I just love it, I miss it. The feeling. Lots of memory there. Not just because the game is fun and it's a great game that really Marked the peak of the genre at the time, you know, but uh, memories of being a kid. I mean, at 10 years old, what, what do you really have to worry about? Games like this, you know, you play, fun. No internet, nothing to worry about. Yeah, I didn't know this game was coming. I thought on the, thought on the computer. Uh, yeah, what am I talking about? Thought on TV? What is that? I remember in um and it shows like uh, at the very bottom of the screen like they show the name of the game while like Street of Rage. Whoa, what is going on here? Cause here you have to understand at that time uh, what's the equivalent of uh I mean there were already arcade brawlers and side beat them up, but again at the arcade. But in terms of like having it at home, the only equivalent I can think of at that time was maybe still only Double Dragon, maybe River City River City Ransom? That? The final fight was boarded over about the same time, but the same. Having an original IP like this? Incredible. <laughs> what did I get for being an ass? Try to get her straight up right there. I would have paid. Let's not give her an opportunity. Get down here. Another one. Super. Nice. FTO, welcome back. I think I saw you uh, yesterday, right? Promise variety. I'm all over the place. Don't get me wrong, as much as I like to play Warzone, that thing just gets on my nerves sometimes. Ow, I was trying to get 
stuck on that knee. Could have used my special attack to get him out of there sooner. Never right, thought how cool this was. Like, oh, look at the water. It's so real. Can't get better than this. Sneak up there. 
of these moves don't make sense with this tight hand. Bottle. Maybe I can throw it after a while. 
keeping up with these guys. Leave them at an angle. mechanic there just to get yourself over. <laughs> That's 
That's one way to do it. Why even bother? because of that. Nice. 
I don't think so. Uh, suplex. myself the last one and probably could have punched a few more times over before I took him into the knee sequence. Might as well eat this now for points. Nice to be able to just play a game and not be all stressed out or <laughs> getting all upset every two seconds. Oh man. That's the thing to do with the fact that I know this game up and down is just not easy. But sometimes playing Warzone as much as I do or even Street Fighter is just, oh my gosh, it's just like it's on my nerves. Getting my nerves? Neil McDonough here. That's why you want them separated. 
Oh, they do back each other up. Not my best, but it's okay. He's not gonna last. Whee! So two things to keep in mind there. Separate straight up and down angles when you're trying to grab. If you go at any type of diagonal or straight ahead, they're gonna... Or directly in front of them, I should say. You gotta come like an up and down. If you gotta grab them, otherwise they'll hit you. When you kinda go straight up and down, uh, they keep rotating. They don't know what direction you're gonna go from. That's why you keep flipping them around like that. Then you're able to grab them and do more with them. This guy kinda toss a kick upon landing.
Omega era of the time. Well, a lot of these games, right? Then I don't have to go on a pretty much a bot rush.
make adjustments for him, so I would have grabbed I mean, 
Barring the barring the three boneheaded times that I died throughout the my time playing, uh, you only killed me twice, which is decent. I was trapping him pretty good right now. Yeah, sometimes he gets on this uh, roll where he just uh, he's just wailing on you with with the with that gun. What did he take right there? Yeah, I think hit me um, when I had the first fresh life off of him when after he killed me the first time, but I had already been fighting those guys. I think he butted me twice and I ended up dying. That's, uh, that's huge. Or a scrub, yeah. Only took me 47, 48 minutes. Well under an hour. Yuzo Koshiro, the legend. Oh man. Those high end memory uh, graphics that we used to take part in. One, where did the time go? No, I always felt that it would take longer to beat these games in the past. Are we that much better? For now. <laughs> that was fun. Let's sit here and enjoy the, the sound of the waves. No. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. It's always nice to revisit. Uh, you know what? I'll think I'll... Uh... I'll probably have some time tomorrow. Maybe I'll just run up and uh, fire up part two. Again, uh, it's nice to chronicle all the, these old games that I used to like to play and used to like putting time into. And at least have them on record and collection or recording so I could always view them back. Not to say that I won't ever go back and play them again, but just have them recorded one time? Why the hell not? I want to thank everybody that jumped in today. Hope you uh, enjoyed our little... Uh, trip through memory lane or maybe the first time you ever got to see this game because part four brought here all the same thank you for coming in uh the replay of this uh game through uh, playthrough will be on uh, youtube later on today once i upload it you can go find it there at jump jab arcade same address more or less please help me out and drop a like on that that way i can keep uh, trying to grow this channel uh, but again though i appreciate you guys stepping in i'll uh, see you guys tomorrow